Hi, this is Damien Marie Adhope, and I'm an axiological atheist, and I'm here with a guest, Piper. Could you go ahead and uh, tell us what kind of atheist you are? I would say I just don't believe in God. Okay. That's it. And um, did you always not believe in God, or did you at one time question or believe in God? I've questioned God, but I've never believed in it. In my life, like my entire life, I've never believed. But there was one point that I thought I had to because my, like my cousins and every my family members were all Christians, and I thought I had to believe in it. But I was like I couldn't because I didn't know what it was, and so it was a question. But I never believed. Okay, so what did you do to um, search out if the question was true or not, or did you just? through reason and logic just couldn't grasp it or did you go and try to look into it I would say the second like I didn't I tried reasoning like I would try to in my mind I tried to think if it was possible for someone to live in the sky <laughs> and if one person could create the earth and all that stuff but no one can and there's no evidence so so, um, does your uh, family um, accept that you're uh, an atheist, or that you don't believe in God? Yeah. They do? Do they support you, or they just uh, don't care? Don't care. Okay. How about um, your uh, friends at school? Can you tell us how old you are? And I'm 15, and I'm a sophomore in high school, and the friends that I have, they're all atheists, except for two of them, who, uh, the two of them believe in God and Jesus, but they're not like super religious. They just believe in an afterlife and they don't really care because they understand that the rest of their friends don't believe in it. And then sometimes they question whether they believe in God or not, but they believe that someone had to create us. And so I don't really care that they believe that because they're my friends. Right. And I support them. So do you think that's common for your, your age, or is it just it happens to be where you're at that, that people don't believe? I just think it's just my friends, like the people that I tend to talk to. Right. Like, I, I uh, do that a lot. Like, I'll go out in public. Like, if I make a friend in public, I'll somehow attract the atheists. Yeah. And, like, it'll be like, like we'll talk about something, and someone will ask, Oh, are you religious or not or do you believe in God and then we'd both be like no and then we'd be like oh that's pretty cool and but I mean so you said most of your friends how many friends are um, would you say that is I would say out of uh, 40 38 of them are atheists <laughs> That, that seems like a lot. Yeah, I know. So is that like your whole school is atheist? Or? No, it's I have friends, um, seniors, juniors. Uh, when I was a freshman, I had senior friends, junior friends, and sophomore friends. And now, so, so now that I'm a sophomore, um, I have my friends in my grade, and then the juniors and the seniors, and then now a few college friends that. So like it's a lot of different grades and age groups. Wow. So, so um, do, do people in your school, besides your, your friends, do, do they accept that you're an atheist, or if you had? No one cares. No one cares. No. And uh, how about the teachers? Sometimes I know I had teachers that, that believed when I was a kid, and they would try to push their um, ideas on me a little bit. Does that ever happen to you? Not in high school, but in middle school we had. Should I talk about the topic? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in eighth grade, we had a get to know about me um, thing to like, because it was the beginning of the school year, so like it was a thing for everyone to learn about you. Right. And we did a project, and it was five sections, and one of them was about religion. And the teacher said that we'd get a grade, like we'd get a point on that as long as we said something, like even if you said, I don't know what I am, yeah. that you'd still get a point. And so I went up there and I said, I don't know, I don't believe in anything. And then um, my best friend who doesn't believe in anything either, 
um, talked about religion because her, both of her parents believe in right. a god, a different god, right. one Hindi, one um, Christian. Okay. And um, she had gotten a five out of five, and I had gotten a four out of five because I didn't believe in anything. So what, what do you mean by, since I don't know what that is, what do you mean four out of five? What it is, was, since it was- Like a grade? Yeah, it was, since it was five questions that we had, to, like five facts that we had to state. One was religion, and I got a point taken off of the religion part because I didn't believe in anything. That, that's crazy. That sounds like discrimination. Did you talk to the teacher about that? My mom did. did because I mean- talk to the school? Because, I mean, you answered the question, do I have a religion? No, I don't. I mean, that that is the answer to the question. So it's not like you didn't answer the question. You Wow. That's wild. Yeah. And um, so you said your mother talked to her, and then what happened? The school said that they were going to fix my grade, but they never did. Like to give me a point on that one question because I had answered the question. Yeah. And I don't believe anything, so I couldn't have said, "Oh, I do believe in something," just to get a point. Right. And but they never changed my grade or did, anything. Did you feel like that um, she wanted you to believe? Like she was pressuring you? I don't feel like she was pressuring me, but I feel like she couldn't comprehend that someone couldn't believe in a god. So, so she she basically punished you for not believing. I guess in a way, yeah. That seems unfair. How'd that make you feel? I I don't. I would say I felt pretty like sad towards that because it's like I answered the question and some people don't believe in anything and she didn't say anything to my best friend who said that she didn't believe in anything. And that she didn't go along with what her parents had right. like, with their religions, and so like I was also offended by that because like I don't know like why did I get a point taken off and why was I the one that uh, it was like if she did that if she was like so shocked by it. I feel like she should have done that to my best friend as well. So you felt like she singled you out? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry that happened. That's really unfair. No one should be persecuted because of what they, you know, don't believe. That's... Especially when it's never something that's that's been um, part of school anyways. I mean, even if the teacher believed, I mean... It's not part of school to have to have a belief. So I think that's pretty unfair that that happened to you. So did um, the other kids in the, in the class think that it was unfair or did they feel vindicated because you should believe or something? One of my friends, one of my other best friends at the time was like, he stood up for me and was like, that's pretty cool that you don't believe in a God. I don't think I believe in a God either. But I didn't know, like, he was unsure yeah. if he had to because his parents were Christian and everything. And then he started questioning himself. And then uh, pretty soon after that, he was like, well, since others don't believe in a God, I don't have to. And, I, and he was like, I don't have to be forced to believe in something I don't want to. Right. And so, like, that helped him. And then his, his other best friend in that class was like, that's pretty cool, I support you, but I still, he was like, I still believe in God, but like, that's pretty cool that you are happy now. Right. And the other students, I believe, felt unfair. Like, did anyone say anything to you? Unfair for me. Like, the in class, like, some of the kids didn't care, or didn't say anything because they were huge Christians, like the teacher. Right. But the other kids were just like, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that happened to you? Like, no, like, that's pretty cool that someone doesn't believe in Oh, oh, oh. Right. Well, I think it's pretty good that you uh, have that opinion, you know, at, at 15. I didn't stop uh, believing in uh, God until I was 39. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> you got it one up on me. But I, I was raised religious, and you weren't raised religious, right? Yeah, I think that's different. So, um, do you want to um, get involved in the atheist, um, you know, uh, stuff like movement, or do you, do you plan on doing anything, or are you just gonna live your life and don't I'm care? Just live my life. I don't really <laughs> care. So, if you um, do, you, uh, are you on any atheist pages or? Uh, on Swift and Craft. Okay. I, uh, and those are what? Atheist groups. Atheist, like what, meetup groups? Yeah. Okay. And, and you've gone to those before? Yeah. With my mom. With your mom? Yeah. So, um, how, how did they um, treat you with those groups? Do you think they uh, treat you um, fairly? Yeah. I would say they do. Has anyone ever said anything about you being young? Some people had come, came up to me and said, you're so young, because most of them were also Christians. Yeah. Bef uh, before they started to think for themselves and choose to not believe in a God because they thought, they were like, well, he might not be real, so they chose atheism. Um, and I don't know what his name was, but this guy thought it was pretty cool because he was like, I forgot how old he said, but he was pretty old when he stopped believing. Right. And um, and he was like, "You're really young," and I didn't. I don't know. Kind. Of, he was just impressed by it. Well, I'm impressed that, that you're that young and you understand. I wish I would have been like that. <laughs> But, um, so, um, do you, um, feel like you're going to be telling, um, people, uh, in your life in the future, like, um, if you have children, are you going to, um, raise them as atheists or just a non, non-religious? If I have kids, whoever I end up with uh -huh. having them, I'm going to tell them I don't want religion in my child's life until they're old enough to choose what they want because right. I'm not going to enforce them be like oh no God's not real right. so you should not believe in a God I'm going to have them choose their life because if they want to believe in God go ahead I don't really care it's their life but I'm not going to enforce a religion upon them when they're small and can't think for themselves and so like when they get old enough if the father is Christian or whatever and if he believes in, if he believes in a God then they can start talking to my child about it when they're like a teenager and old enough to understand. And if they want to follow their father, then go ahead. So you feel that uh, it's possible that you'll um, you'll uh, not not try to pick someone who's atheist. You don't really care mm -hmm. if they have the religion or not. What if they say they they like say no Catholics? They want to get the child baptized and stuff. Would you be okay with that or? Um. That kind of goes with it. My mom had me baptized when um, I was little because yeah. the rest of the family gave her um, crap about it. Right. That, oh, she needs to be baptized, this and that. And I don't know what they said because I was a little baby. Right. So, like. Well, I'm just asking about you. What would you yeah, do? Yeah, I, I would probably follow my mom if um, people in my life started talking crap about it. And just to get them to shut up, I'd probably baptize my kid, but I probably won't. But, but then, then what if he said that he also wants to, to go to a Catholic school? Then dump him and leave. Dump him. Take the child with so, me. So, it's, so it, does, it does matter to you? It does matter to me. I don't want religion forced on my child at a young age when it's not old enough to think. I can agree. I, I think that... that uh, it, it should never be forced. I don't think it's bad for a parent to say what they believe, we don't matter what that is, religion or, or a, you know, as atheist. But I don't like when you force a child because to me they should have the right to choose. And I don't think you should, like you said, I don't, I don't think, you know, if a child's, you know, not even a teenager, I don't think they should have to, I guess it's so crazy when the kids like, because I worked before at a, um, at a youth thing in California. <laughs> and, there was, um, there was Catholic kids that were like, 
I don't know, maybe like five, six years old, and they're saying, my religion is, you know, Catholicism. I'm like, you don't even know what that means. <laughs> You're not old enough to, to actually make that decision. My cousin, before she went to school, uh, my cousin put her kids in school at a like really, really young age, at like two. Yeah. And so like, or, yeah, like two, three, four, and my cousin, before that, she was really smart, and she was like around three or four years old, and she knew about evolution, all this science stuff, wow. and she didn't believe in God then, but as soon as she started going to school, um, she went to a Catholic school, a private school, and so since it's a God um, environment, right? Um, they were, she was taught about Jesus and God and everything and she got really religious and then like even now even though her family is religious like they believe in God and everything yeah um like every day that someone doesn't mention the word God she'll be like why don't you believe in God anymore to her family and be like you're supposed to speak God's name and like she'll like yell at them if they don't speak of God or pray a day like once a day or something but she's finally accepted the fact that um, not everyone believes because one day my friend and I went to her, my cousin's house and my friend uh, still couldn't believe that she she's younger, she's yeah. like nine and so like she got along with my cousin who seven at the t uh, was at the time who was seven at the time and um, um, so like she has a big mouth too and she was like oh did you know that piper doesn't believe in god and my cousin was eating a popsicle at the time and she dropped it on the floor and she stood at me with her mouth open and her eyes were wide and she was like for a few minutes and then um and then she was like you don't believe in god and then she like got really mad at me or something and um and then she started asking me all these questions. She was like, where do you think food comes from? And I was like, the store, from farms, people Where's make it. And then she was like, where do you think clothes come from? Factories, people make them right. with cloth, like with cloth and with wool that come from sheep, which comes from a mother's sheep. And she was like, where do you think babies come from? And so I told her about sex. Wow. And, um, and so like I told her how a child is born. She's like, no, God makes them. I was like, no. No, your mom and your dad had these things in the side of them. And then I started talking more into detail and stuff. And then I was like, that's how a baby's made. And it comes out of your mom. I was there when you were born, because I was. I was outside the waiting room when she was born. And um, I was, and her entire family knows that babies come from a mom right. and comes out of a vagina. And I was like, that is what happens. And then, um, and then she was like, that's not true. God makes them. And I was like, okay, whatever. I don't really care anymore. Just leave me alone. And then I went to go watch TV, but then she was like, no, 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 no. And then she started asking me more questions and I answered them. And like, in a way that it had nothing to do with God because you get food from a store yeah. and some of it comes from a factory that people make hand make right and then some like vegetables and stuff or like whatever can be grown comes from a farm that a person plants from a seed waters it you know takes care of it for months and then harvests it and then sends it to a store which right. we go to the store and buy them and then we eat them at home and so there it is in our refrigerator or on our uh, counter depending what it is right and it's like that's how it is right and she still didn't believe me and she was, but then after a while, on, she I'm was gonna, like, that's all right.